Hello, this is Robert Farmelo, and this is Learn English Now, your global academy for English language training. I have a special surprise for you today. I'm going to show you a secret method to really go deep into the English language and we're going to use two superpowers at the same time. Are you ready? To do this method, we're going to go here and type something in to the Google search. We're going to use the first superpower, reading, reading English. Let's type in, ah, there we go, the Maltese Falcon. And we're going to go here to this particular website. And as you can see, it opens up right away. Let's make the pages bigger. This is a famous story, a detective story by Dashiell Hammett. And let's take a look at this great story. But there's one more step we have to take. Let's open up another tab and go to YouTube and I'll show you the next part of this incredible and secret method. We're going to type in the Maltese Falcon audio book free. That's all we have to do and let's hit enter Okay, we're back. Let's try opening this one. Okay, it's open. Now let's press play and see what happens. Spade and Archer Samuel Spade's jaw was long and bony. There you go. Now that begins it. And let's go back to the Spade and Archer. Samuel Spade's jaw was long and bony. There you go, you see? By now you may have already figured out what this method involves. You listen to the audiobook. His chin a jutting V under the more flexible V of his mouth. His nostrils curved back to make another smaller V. His yellow-gray eyes were horizontal. The V motif was picked up again by thickish brows rising outward from twin creases above a hooked nose, and his pale brown hair grew down from high... But wait a minute. Maybe you can't understand what's being read and read at the same time because of the speed of the narration of the book. So what we do is we go back to the YouTube video and we go to this settings cog and then we go to playback speed. Now as you can see the playback speed here is set at normal but we can adjust it you see and we can even go faster. Listen to this. Forehead. He looked rather pleasantly like a blonde Satan. He said to Effie Perrin, Yes sweetheart? She was a lanky sunburned girl whose tan dress of thin woolen stuff clung to her with an effect of dampness. Her eyes were brown and playful in a shiny boyish face. She finished shutting the door behind her, leaned against it, and said, This girl wants to see you. Her name's Wonderly. Mm, a customer? This Wonderly? A voice said, So you, you can make it slower. So softly that only the purest articulation made the words intelligible. And a young woman came through the doorway. She advanced slowly with tentative steps looking at Spade with cobalt blue eyes that were both shy and probing. You get the idea? You see how this is done? Now here's a tip. What you do, let's say you run across a word that you just don't know the meaning of, or you're, you're not sure, like for example, motif. What we do is we take that word, we make a copy of it, say we come over here and we open up a new tab and we 
put that word in here like this, and we go like this. Okay? Right. Now we do this. Motif. 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 And we can also go up here and make the page bigger. So you can see what it means. Motif. A decorative design or pattern. And you can also come here to watch some mouth action. Kind of cool. Motif. Motif. And you can make it really slow. Motif. Motif. You get the idea? But we can go even further. We can go back to our original and put in motif and hit it. And then we can go here and take a look at some images of what a motif looks like. So we can see that a motif is a design. And another word for motif is pattern. So this is a super duper way to employ two of your superpowers. Reading and listening. She was tall and pliantly slender. Without... You get the idea. Now I do have a complete how to learn English read English with these three super reading methods and you can go here for sure and find some great tips and some great resources on how to do this reading thing but let's face it this method of combining the book and reading at the same time as listening is amazing because you get to practice your pronunciation skills, you get to check out the meaning of words and phrases, and you also get a chance to understand the cultural reference that you're going to run into when you read these great stories. And there's all kinds of stories that you can find that are very instructive help you go deep into the English language. And, oh, this lesson is awesome as well. So you can also come to this particular lesson on three super methods to learn English. But I wanted you to see this method using classic English stories. You can also find nonfiction as well and use the same method. Getting the audiobook, listening at the same time as you read, that's very important that you actually read as you listen and you find the words and phrases that you don't understand and investigate. Now there's a bit more to this method, so make sure that you contact me personally, Robert Farmelo, and there's a link in the video that you can find in the content box below the video to get in touch with me so I can show you the other part of this top secret superpower method, reading and listening combined. Okay, see you then.